Local 15 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Derek Beasley. Well, it's so heartbreaking to see everything that's going on in the Philippines. Yeah, that was a terrible storm over there. And unfortunately, I think that death toll is going to end up going up because that was a, that was a massive storm. Yeah, yeah so we're, nowhere to go. They're an island. Yeah, that's true. And of course, that surge was high and also the wind, too. So uh, hopefully, uh, they'll be able to recover here in the yeah. next uh, several months. Uh, cold this morning, though. Temperatures down near freezing again. Some areas below that, way below that in the mid-20s. The good news is that we are warming up. We did make it into the mid-60s this afternoon. Looks like we're going to be back into the 70s by tomorrow. This weekend looks warm as well, but we have some rain chances on the way. Not so much tonight, but tomorrow morning you may wake up to a few showers across the area. 34 uh, this morning at the Mobile Regional Airport. Uh, some areas out towards uh, the western sections of Mobile County did get into the upper 20s and lower 30s, so right around freezing. 25 Evergreen, 27 in Crestview, even Fort Walton Beach getting down to 29 this morning. Notice the recovery, though, uh, almost a 40-degree recovery in some spots. We're talking from 25 to 64 this afternoon, about 40 degrees here, so nice warm-up, and we do expect to get even warmer here for tomorrow. Now, we're starting to cool off right now, 50s and 60s across the board through midnight tonight. Sky's becoming mostly cloudy. We've been seeing these clouds rolling in from the west and southwest. There's an upper-level disturbance that's tracking in from Texas and Mexico, and you see all the clouds starting to thicken up, and some patches of green there. Those are some isolated showers that are breaking out through Oklahoma and parts of the Texas and Louisiana coast, so we do expect that to start filling in. You can see the upper level disturbance right here on water vapor, just kind of a real weak one. It's not, not a strong storm at all, but as it gets closer, it'll spread more clouds into the region and, of course, a chance for some showers here for tomorrow. Pinpoint predictor shows that Skies overnight tonight, mostly cloudy. So instead of 20s and 30s overnight, we're going to be right around 50 degrees. Not bad. Definitely warmer than what we've been seeing. Then tomorrow, skies mostly cloudy around 70. So uh, we'll see a few scattered showers in the morning through the early afternoon. I don't expect anything too widespread or too heavy, but it will be enough for you to have to use the windshield wipers from time to time, perhaps break out the umbrella for a period for tomorrow morning. Saturday looks okay, 20% chance or less. Uh, chance of rain here for the first part of the weekend. And Sunday looks mostly dry, but that cold front we've been talking about is going to be heading our way. Now, the good news, things that's changed from yesterday, it does look like the computer models have backed off on that big surge of cold air for the middle part of next week. So it doesn't look like it'll be getting quite as cold as we were originally thinking here by next Tuesday into Wednesday. Pinpoint forecast for tomorrow, highs around 70, 71 Bay Manette, 73 Gulf Shores, about a 40% chance for some showers morning through the early afternoon. Inland sections, a little bit less of a chance there, about 30% from Chatham to Evergreen, right around 70 degrees for an afternoon high. Northwest Florida, 40% chance, 70 in Crestview as well as Navarre, and Baghdad about uh, not, uh, 71 degrees, 73 in uh, Pensacola. And southeast Mississippi, about a 30% chance for a few scattered showers. Temperatures right around 70 degrees. Here's your seven day forecast 74 on Saturday and 78 on Sunday. Not bad. Overnight low temperatures getting into the 50s and 60s. So our overnight lows are going to be where our highs were the past couple of days. And uh, looks like, again, by next week, best chance for rain will be Monday with the cold front and then only in the 60s for highs for next Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. That's good news about the temperatures next week. We were awfully worried about just how yeah, cold it was going to get. Yeah, it was a kind of a dramatic change. It mm -hmm. showed it consistently that cold air coming down and then overnight things kind of changed a little bit and that's just what happens sometimes. Good news. You can All stay right, with Derek, thanks. Yeah.